Today, I'm interviewing myself, y'all, using new 3D technology. Fancy Show Tech, or Super PC from Fancy Show Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in iMovie or make it look like it. First, you'll need two shots of yourself, like, in a room. And then, after you get, like, two shots of yourself in the same room, same background, good lighting, then you gotta create a new project in iMovie. You create, you quest a new button, and then you make sure you do it at whatever aspect ratio your camera is, frame rate, do you know the deal, clone to Halt X, I already made the first clone one. I'll create that, and then once you do that in iMovie, you go to Cologne or wherever you have your movies. You put them in the file. I make they don't have to be the same links as long in iMovie, but the first one you're going to use as the main one has to be the long has to be the links you want for the movie. So and then you drag the second one in. If it if it doesn't work for you when you do this, I'll show you what you have to do at the end of the movie to enable these features. You just do green screen and then you crop it because you'll see that. Of course, it'll mess everything up. You just crop it once you've gotten the green screen. Once you've selected that, it'll automatically show these selections and things. You just crop it to the point where where it's still there. It might look a little weird, but that's how you do it. And then, then you can basically see that little effect going on. Let me play that. So, yeah. There it is. Now, I told you I was going to show you how I did that. You go go to iMovie. If you don't have these features enabled because not everyone does. You just go to the iMovie up here, preferences, and then click check this box, show advanced tools, and that's how you do it. That's how you do what I was doing. It won't work unless you click that box. So, anyways, thanks for watching. A lot of other tutorials are long and lengthy on this, but it's pretty easy to do actually. If you get a good shot and everything like I did, make sure the lighting's about the same. I cite cameras, even they're standard def, they're really good for this. I've f figured out, and especially newer ones that come on Max. And you might see a little effect late here, like this one, a little degrading, but that's gonna be expected. It's a green screen effect. But if you want to do this more professionally, get something like Final Cut. That's how. That's the good best way to do it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Yeah, now your tutorial. I'll talk to you later. Bye.